America is not a racist country. Ladies and gentlemen, we all remember the police officers that all participated in the killing of George Floyd. Well, they have all been charged with violating George Floyd's civil rights and they all pled not guilty. So this came out in the Washington Post, September 14th, 2021. Four former police officers charged in the death of George Floyd pled not guilty Tuesday to separate federal charges that they violated the man's civil rights during the fatal arrest in May 2020. But the federal judge overseeing the matter delayed decisions on several major issues in the case, including whether the former officers will be tried jointly when the trial uh, might take place. A federal grand jury indicted Derek Chauvin, J. Alexander King, Thomas K. Lane, and Tu Tao. And this is on charges that they violated Floyd's constitutional rights when he was restrained and handcuffed face down on the street during an investigation of a counterfeit $20 bill as he begged to breathe, of course, in Ultimately, he lost consciousness and never heard anything else about that counterfeit bill because I don't believe it was counterfeit. I don't believe it was. You notice it didn't even come up during Derek Chauvin's trial. There was no issue over that $20 bill. All four men appeared at an arraignment held via video conference, including Chauvin who was seen sitting behind security glass in a reinforced room inside the maximum security prison uh, outside the Twin Cities, where he is currently serving a 22 and a half year sentence for murder. And in my opinion, he should be in there for the rest of his life. He's too dangerous to be on the street. King, Lane, and Tao who are still waiting a uh, state trial on charges of aiding and abetting murder and manslaughter, appeared virtually sitting alongside their attorneys. Uh, their joint appearance in state or federal court in over a year. Federal prosecutors allege Chauvin violated Floyd's constitutional right to be free from unreasonable seizure and from unreasonable force by a police officer. King and Tao were charged with violating Floyd's right to be free from reasonable seizure by not intervening as Chauvin knelt on Floyd's neck and back. All four officers were charged with failing to render medical aid to Floyd. U.S. District Magistrate Judge Tony N. Lung um, he began the nearly two-hour hearing by asking each of the men to enter a former plea in the case before taking up to 40 pending motions in the case from prosecutors and the defense, including King, Lane, and Tao, requesting their trials be separate from Chauvin. So Chauvin is back on trial in this case of violating George Floyd's civil rights and the others don't want to be with Chauvin in this thing because I think what they fear is getting a, a bigger sentence because Chauvin would be with them all lumped together, which they really should be. Ladies and gentlemen, this shouldn't be separate. They killed him all together. Okay, but now that they're in trouble with the law, they want everything separate. No, they should. You killed that man as a group and you should be on trial as a group. That's my opinion. Okay, so uh, the three want separate trials and they don't want Chauvin to be part of the group. So that's what's going on here. I don't believe that should be granted. Okay, <clears throat> so 
everybody knows that Derek Chauvin was convicted of murder. So are we going to be presumed innocent of this charge? I doubt it. So this is just one of the attorneys talking. But U.S. Assistant Attorney Manda Starch, she's, uh, she's pushing back on the argument, pointing out federal charges are different than the ones they play in the state murder case. And Chauvin's behavior will loom over the case, whether he's tried separately or not. Uh, not because of evidence that links all four of the former officers. So, you know, this prosecutor is saying it really don't make any difference whether he's tried with them or not. You know, it's not going to make a difference because Chauvin has already been found guilty of murder. So it, it doesn't matter at this point. But the three are, you know, I guess they are railing against Chauvin being included in the group, which really is silly in my opinion. He should be in the group because y'all didn't have no problem being around Chauvin on the streets killing George Floyd. Okay, so Tuesday's hearing offered echoes of legal strategy previewed last year and uh, when Hennepin County District Judge Peter A. Cahill ordered that all four officers be tried together on state charges related to Floyd's death. And you know what? I agree with that. But Cahill later uh, separated Chauvin's case, citing concerns over the potential spread of, you know, uh, back then CV was around during the trial. So he was concerned about that in the courtroom. On Tuesday, attorneys for the former officers repeated arguments that they made in the state case, suggesting a joint trial could result in a blame game among their clients. Attorneys for uh, King and Lane, rookie officers who had been full-time on the force less than a week, suggest they will point the finger at Chauvin, arguing they were young officers deferring to a veteran officer at the scene. Gray and Thomas Pluckett, an attorney for King, quibbled with prosecutors on uh, exact start dates for their clients, suggesting that uh, they did not become police officers until May 2020, even though they had been taken, you know, they took their oath to become officers that week that George Floyd was killed. So, you know, they took their oath and they graduated from the police academy and began undergoing field training alongside with Chauvin. You know what, that may be true, but you still know right from wrong and you know him being on George Floyd's neck like that was wrong, okay? Whether you were there for a week or a month, you still knew what he was doing was wrong. And none of you stopped him. Not one person stopped him. So y'all, please tell me what you think. You know, I guess they're going to keep fighting like this until this whole thing is finally over. The other three from Chauvin, um, I believe their trial is coming up March of 2022. And they're still squabbling over separate trials, which I don't think should ever be granted. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.